Danny, I'm sure there was a part of you that, that wondered coming in what Golovkin's power would feel like and how you would react to it. After going through 12 rounds, what did it feel like and how would you, how do you feel you reacted to it? It wasn't what everybody made it out to be. <laughs> it definitely wasn't this boogeyman, knockout artist that everyone is saying. And even when I got dropped, they said I got pushed a little bit. I got a hit, but I would have to go back and see it. But I wanted to go trade with him right there because it, it really didn't hurt me. I really didn't get hurt like I thought if I got, if, if, if he landed one of those shots, it would be over, you know? And he's a, I won't say he's the biggest middleweight, but he's a, he's a fair size middleweight. And I knew going into the fight that I would be the bigger man. And, you know, we outlanded him in punches. We threw more punches. We just overall, you know, was successful with the game plan. Um, he was a tough fighter. I knew he was going to come forward, but he showed respect. He didn't come forward disrespectfully like he did every other fighter, the 23 guys that he's knocked out. He showed respect, and my boxing ability uh, demanded that respect, and also my power. So I'm happy. I'm proud. All I can do is not cry over bitter milk. No. Uh, Spill milk. Oh, no, sorry. Spill milk. Spill milk. Do you remember the first power shot you took that, what round it was, like, and when you, how you react to it? Man, I got hit with an overhand right in the back of my ear, you know. And I don't know if I was down or what it was, but um, I just said, okay, this is what we're working with? Okay, it's not that bad. We can work. And as you've seen, I've showed times where I wanted to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And I was grinning at him, and I was, mm, let's go. There's nothing that he did that stopped me from being confident, stopped me from my game plan. Um, if anything, I just switched southpaw, and he showed vulnerability there as well. Um, I'm happy. I'm, I'm really happy with my performance. I want to go back and watch the tape to see, because I'm, I'm our biggest critic as well. So I'm really fair with if I lost, I lost. But, in my heart, I really felt like I really didn't lose this fight. Danny, just to follow up on that, did I understand you say that you thought the punches would be harder before you guys, because of everything that had been yeah, said? Yeah, I mean, the, the way you guys make it seem like so. <laughs> None of us got hit by it. like, man, this guy is really the bookie, man. Did he really knock out guys with one shot? I was like, man. So this is what it's all about? When I got hit, I was like, okay. Even when I got knocked down, it right. was just like, Let's go. I stood toe-to-toe -to -toe right after I got back out. Is that why your confidence seemed to grow as the fight went on? Absolutely. Um, you know, when it's the unseen, you don't know. You have to plan. You have to be cautious. You have to do it round by round. round, by round. That was our plan was to win each round. But do it cautiously. Not going there reckless and just because I had knockouts as well, going there and try to stop the guy. So, you know, it's all good. And Danny, when you talk about the respect that he had to show you, how much of it had to do with your hand speed making it tough for him to stay inside where he normally does? Um, I think it was, yeah, it was the hand speed a lot. I'm not sure which one it was the most empowering hand speed. But I did land sometimes at will with my jab, and especially when I was southpaw, I mean, at times he really couldn't touch me. Um, but, I'm not sure if the judges seen him throwing harder shots or however they were judging it, but at the end of the day, I'm happy with my performance. If we can do it again, I would love to. Right away? Yeah, I mean, if you've seen him ever, if you ever seen him fight a southpaw, he's always shown vulnerability. Kasim Umar, Mon Monroe, uh, this guy named Ivan Gardner, that really, showed me some, some flaws in him. And I was just like, I'm really good at switching southpaw, so, you know, let's go in there and switch it up and confuse him. And that's exactly what I felt like we did. One thing about that, Danny, was the southpaw stands while I asked Oh, him. did you think I won, Danny? Uh, I had the fight 115 to 112 for Triple G. Oh, jeez. But you bought a hell of a fight. You guys, oh, maybe I should have asked him. I should have asked probably somebody like that. <laughs> One of my favorite more should have asked I love you anyway. Thank you, brother. Um, no, but if it was working so well southpaw, why didn't you stay there? You'd only did it a couple of times and for kind of short stretches earlier in the fight. Did you think about staying there much longer because you said you saw the flaws? Yeah, well, you know, the game plan was to not stay southpaw. Um, the game plan was just confusing. 
And I do softball very well, I do it as well as orthodox. So that's why it probably wasn't the best idea to stay softball. But I mean, you see them missing, you see them not really being able to land, especially those hard right hands that he normally throws.